What's up guys, welcome back to Wrenching Rack. We're doing our little grill out, camp out session. Little local friends and family type deal. Been up here all morning jamming away. Recut this little area, I gotta move that bench back, but getting set up. I got the van down there, we're camping out here tonight. Do some fishing, hanging out. Daddy has been going crazy on food stuff, so she prepped a bunch of pork shoulders. We got a ton of pulled pork. And uh, our buddy up the road did us the favor of smoking it because I've been running around like crazy at the shop. Dooley's still up here. We got done way too early. People are supposed to start showing up three to five-ish. But I tried getting this body line back. Still got a ton of scratches in there, but it's only a rough 80 grit with a protective, don't let the rust, or don't let the steel rust. We're closer, still not there yet. And then the FXR, I just rolled the trailer out because he's coming to pick that up today. Coming by, grabbing a pulled pork sandwich and then uh, taking the trailer and letting them borrow that to bring that back with him. Topped off the diesel compressor because we got a ton of blasting to do next week that I can't actually do right now. Should just be a nice little chill day. We got a bunch of people, apparently the weather outside of here is crap. Things are raining. Ooh, Harbor Freight had a 40% off sale on a jack, so I grabbed one of those. Don't really need it, but very good price. That's all pulled pork. There, well, will be pulled por pork. This is Dottie's spread, because she killed it this week. Yeah. Got the shop super clean. Been unable to work up here in preparation for today. So, got the oil lamp going. Should be a good time. And if we get any bikes out, cool. If not, I know a lot of people weather, like I said, towards the city. We got a couple people coming out from the south. They're getting nailed all morning, cold, rainy, crappy. And uh, should have some muscle cars and hot rods and bikes up here. We'll kind of see how it goes. It's a very low, nothing like a chopper barn party. We're just doing a small little friends and family get together, like I said, so. Waiting on people, sanding Bondo in between. The fall little hoorah until daddy does a winter party for Christmas. <laughs> she says no, we'll see. We got our own sledding hill. Why wouldn't we do a sledding event? Sleds and skis and all sorts of stupidity. But just enjoying it. A small little friends and family party went well. A couple of people still down there camping, but food was great, everything was good, good times with good people. It's about all you can ask for. So we've got some cleaning up to do in here. But there's also a chopper show, heavy hogging down in the city. So I'm gonna jump on the soft tail and just jam down there. I think most of the people that are going out left already, so a lot of people riding up from like southern Wisconsin, south of Milwaukee area, heading down to the city, so I gotta do the same, but I'll be flying solo. I was gonna take the Super Glide. I haven't had that fired up in quite a while, and battery's real low. Normally I leave them on tenders if I know they're gonna be sitting for a while, but I just uh, I completely forgot on that one, so. Tried taking the Super Glide. Battery's weak, and that'll sit on the charger. This fires right up and works. And I thought about the bagger too, but I don't know. I just want to get down there and come back. I hate riding in the city. And this is much more maneuverable than the FLH. So that's what we're taking. Try and get some footage of the show out there. And then we'll wrap this all up when I get home.
Jack, left foot. Left kick, left foot kick over. Can you win this? No. <laughs> you got this. Oh, no. oh, 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 come on. Oh, oh, I got a shirt down. Got an April Pearson Psycho Chopper Show at JCS. So if you want a shirt, I got you. Right, let's go. Russell, left foot. <laughs> Let's go, Russ. You got this. You got this. Everybody. It's in gear. Sir. I'm still in gear somehow. <laughs> this happened to be at a stupid chopper show, so I feel a little sympathetic. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't find a spot. Yeah. 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 Cool. It's totally normal. You got this! Alright, find yourself a pretty lady. Put your 
trust to somebody else. Uh, find yourself a homie, I, I find yourself a pretty lady, then you gotta kick your bike over. How good does your bike run that you can get a random person to kick your bike over?
Hey, it turns out we're doing a raffle today. Twenty dollars a ticket. <laughs> Hey, can I just do like a real workout? Just for some smoke? Bring it. Get it. This guy on his own.
Well, it's been a day or two. I'm up at the shop, working late. We got the rest of these bench parts that I, these ones are done. I got three more of these in the oven right now. Waiting on that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the footage from the chopper show. Big shout out to Bo Heavy Hagen putting that whole thing together. I'm sure there's probably a ton of other people involved too, but just for simplicity's sake, give a shout out to Bo. Look him up on Instagram, Heavy Hagen Chopper Show or Heavy Hagen. Had a great time. I didn't think I was going to make it down for that after the uh, friends and family gathering. I know I talked to a couple buddies and I was definitely two-legged teeter-tottering on Saturday night, but I got to bed at a reasonable hour, and sometimes it's just nice to get the knees in the breeze. So the soft tail worked out great, minus a couple ignition issues on there. And while we're waiting on the oven, more body work. Go figure. Thought I was done. Thought I was done, and every time I put a coat of primer on it, I can see every imperfection. I'm gonna be more anal about this section of the door than anything else. You can still see a couple of those dents I just filled where it's a little bit darker on the Bondo there. Hopefully that'll work, but again, I never know until I get a coat on there. I should be doing guide coats. It'd be way easier if the truck was just parked and I could mess with it constantly, but I can't. So that's a whole different thing. Don't want to ruin this chopper event video with stupid truck stuff. So thanks again, Bo. Thanks, Heavy Hog and Chopper Show. Thanks, Frank and Mary's Tap Tavern. Everybody that came out, good seeing the handful of subscribers and people out there. Had a blast. We'll catch you guys on the next one.